Hello friends, we are back at it this week with what I'm calling a simple 12 step warm up. I wanted to take a pause in kind of some of the more exploratory uh, workouts we've been doing in previous weeks to just reset and remember what a nice little 20 minute warm up feels like. Um, just something you can stick in your back pocket and pull out whenever uh, you need to warm up quickly. Great, well let's begin. Um, we're gonna be on our feet the whole time, so Give yourself a little bit of room, but you don't need uh, as much room to travel as we've needed in previous weeks. So without further ado, let's find that wonderful center position. So your feet are hip width apart, your bones are nicely stacked, your knees are soft. And let's just begin before we uh, take our breath, our three check-in breaths. Um, and let's just kind of sway our hips over our feet side to side. Maybe a little forward and back. Just check in, maybe little circles. Um, check in where our, our balance is living today. Um, and really find a wonderful, uh, even distribution of our weight uh, between the, the ball of the foot and the heel. Good. Just remembering where our, our, our uh, strength and our centering comes from. Ground up. Good. Once you've found that, go ahead turn those palms forward close your eyes let the jaw and tongue be easy and let's take those three inhales in through the nose and out through the mouth releasing whatever came before accepting the time that we're taking now and committing ourselves to engage with our voices and ourselves and whatever text we may be working on whether it's a song or a monologue or a play or a speech. We're here right now. All right, let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, let that go. Now if you can hear, there's not a peaceful bird twittering at my window, but very aggravated dog barking. So we are going to disengage from aggressive vocalizations and start with our own gentle vocalizations. Um, living in a city, we are surrounded by a lot of stressful noises. Um, so it's good to practice making some, some peaceful noises. <laughs> good. All right. So that was step number one, our breath check-in. Our, our next step, number two, is going to be rolling up and roll, what I call rolling up and rolling down. So you worked with me before, you know I love to roll out the joints. So we're gonna start rolling out our joints from the ground up. And this is just a good whole body check-in that doesn't involve a lot of deep stretching, not a lot of aggressive movement, but it reminds us of our alignment, it reminds us of the connection um, from every from our foot to our to our head. Good. All right, roll those ankles out. You did that. Uh, take your hands on your knees, just roll those knees gently, adding some mobility into those joints, just warming them up, reminding them not to lock out when we're working, which is nice and soft. Good. Tip those hips side to side. Think of trying to close a drawer with your hip. You know, if you're, if you're in the kitchen and your, your hands are busy stirring something and like, oh no, I left the drawer out. Close. Okay. Maybe, maybe bad image, but that's what I think of. Good. All right. Forward and back. Do, do, do. Just gentle. And let's make some circles. Good. And circles the other direction. Nice. This is also, we're now getting a little bit into our spine. Starting to warm that up. If you warm up the spine, you warm up the whole body. It's our, it's our central nervous system's main conduit. Good. All right. Let's do the rib cage a little bit. Just come forward and back. So I'm trying to keep the hips and everything else where they are and just bringing that old big box of the rib cage forward and back out of alignment. Good, all right, and let's do the same thing, now side to side. So try to keep our hips where they are. This one is always whew, a little stiff. My, um, the postural muscles along my spine uh, are often tight or overworked. So I going side to side is a little bit of a, a challenge. Uh, but it's, it's a good reminder that, that my spine needs lateral flexion. So 
Well, good. All right. If you want to do, do some circles of your ribcage, be bold and join me. Use those dance moves, little isolations. Good. All right, let that go. All right, let's roll those shoulders forward, up, and back. Forward, up, and back. Really slow, really gentle. Giving our neck and shoulders time to adjust, time to realize, oh, I need to let go of all these little knots and tight places. Other direction, back, up, and forward, back, up, and forward, back, up, and forward. Good. All right. Shake that out. Shake that out. All right. Let's tip our head in three circles, starting on the right, really gentle. And I think those three have lost count. Come back to center and three circles, starting towards the left. As you're doing these, make sure your belly is soft, your knees and your knees are also soft. Anything we do with our head, these are my final three, maybe a third. Uh, anything we do with our head, taking it off center is a, is a balance challenge to the rest of our body. So our body likes to oh, oh, strap down, hold on. Um, but as you gain confidence and practice in, you know, challenging your body's uh, gravity um, and balance structures, um, then you can teach your body. You don't need to tense up every time, you know, you do something unusual. Good. And as we know, tension kills vibration, so we want to stay as free as we can. Good. All right. Uh, let's look up and down. Up and down. This is just some gentle opening in the throat as well as the back of the neck. And down. We don't always need to be aggressive. We rarely need to be aggressive when we stretch. And only in very specific circumstances does extreme stretching help us. And often a gentle approach invites the body to open rather than hitting it hard. Good. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do it, but go left to right. I just started doing it. Good. Again, some gentle opening on those, all those muscles and tendons that keep our, keep our head on our shoulders. Good. And just drop your head right and left. Yeah. This is, this is the stretch that's tightest on my neck. Whew. But very good. All right, let that go. All right, we've rolled our way up. Now we're gonna roll our way down. So we'll turn to the side. And we're gonna think of just dropping our head onto our chest. Our knees are gonna bend a little bit more. And then we're gonna think of the weight of our head, all 25 pounds of it or thereabouts, leading the rest of our spine and our vertebrae all the way down to hang over. Bend your knees as much as you need to here to uh, um, make your hamstrings comfortable. You know, this is a, we get a secondary stretch in our hamstrings, but it's not the main goal. Our main goal is just to release that, that back and spine. So maybe find a little sway side to side. Real nice. Maybe try to make some figure eights lifting as you kind of come up over and out to each side. And then swinging back as you get to center. Good. Widen your feet a little bit more and we're gonna swing forward and back. Okay, pick up your hands a little bit so you don't whack your mat like I'm doing. Good. And let that come to stillness. Arms are just hanging uh, over. If you want a little extra um, stretch in the back, just grab your elbows. And that way the weight of the arms is, is pulling on the back rather than being taken by the floor. Good. And just shake your head yes here. Really encouraging that neck to release, not hold itself up. And shake your head a little no. And a little yes. A little no, one more time, a little yes, a little no. Go ahead, if you're holding your arms, just drop them and just take a few, let's take three breaths in and out here, thinking of breathing into our back body, into our, our lower spine, into our ribs, in between our shoulder blades. Um, our back is nice and open here, so it, um, it's a helpful image, thinking of breathing in to a space that's already being opened by the, by the position. So let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in and out on a uh, Good, in through the nose and out on a gentle uh, This is our first sound of the day, so, or of the warm up at least, so we don't need to start, start strong. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Uh, good. 
All right. Ground through those heels, uh, anchor that tailbone, and let's slowly roll up, letting the rest of our torso be a rag doll until we get to the top. Ooh, I did a, a lower body strength workout training earlier today, so my legs are a little shaky. Yours are too. I feel you. I feel you. Good. Head is the last thing to come up. All right. Love the air. Check that out a little bit. That was number two. Third step. We're going to do some arm swings. Put me forward a hair so I don't hit anything. But let's just start small. I'm just crossing my arms in front of my body slightly to the back. Not too aggressive. And I'm not really using the rest of my uh, torso yet. Now, I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm also um, alternating which arm comes on top, just to make sure I'm getting both sides equally. So now, I want you to think of caving forward as your arms come forward. So I'm just take my backdrop. Getting a little extra in um, your upper back. Good. So as we're coming forward, we're also going to open to the back. So, so we're going to... Um, Arch and curve, cave, arch and cave. That's the word I'm looking for. In and out, in and out. You should feel this in your shoulder caps, in your spine, all over. You're also feeling your breath start to move. You might find a natural inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can try reversing that. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Ooh, I guess it's, it's hard to do that and speak at the same time. My coordination is not working today. Good. All right, let that go. Um, let's do a few of these gymnast arm circles, I call them. So we're lifting up and to the back. You can add a little knee swing in there if you want. It's always fun. I like a little bounce. Another direction. Good. I always think of exhaling down and then breathing on that lift up. Good, all right, now let's swing one arm at a time. Um, kind of like we were doing the rest of the rollouts, we're gonna be using our um, gravity and our body's natural uh, momentum to open up space without having to really do intense stretches and really pull on things. Um, so we're just gonna take our arm, um, I like to do a little fist because I feel like it, it concentrates the energy a little bit more. And we're just going to find a little swing as if you're winding up to throw a baseball. Although, of course, I'm sure it looks different from this, but this is my, this is my clown winding up for a baseball toss or whatever pitch. There we go. I'm not a sports person. I have no pretensions of being a sports person. Good. She feels in the shoulder in the neck, collarbone, all kinds of good stuff, and other direction. This also reminds our body that uh, breath work and voice, voice work is not static. Our body is always active. It's always dynamically reacting to the environment. And our voice functions best when it is a free and active participant in that, in that dynamic motion, um, rather than frozen park parking and barking as my opera friends would say uh, we don't want to just lock in and, and try to speak and be emotional on all this concentrated very controlled thing no our body is a part of the voice the voice is a part of the body so other side all right open palm clenched fist whatever your preference just kind of cranking the voice into life i sometimes think of this as um you know, if you've ever watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or those old, those really, really vintage cars that you had to crank to get going, this action kind of feels like I'm cranking my voice to start the engine in a non-aggressive way. Good. And other direction. Good. It's also just kind of fun. All right, let that go. All right, now step three. Step four um, is we're gonna be doing a little bit of more work on our spine. So I'm gonna come to the side here, adjust my mat. It likes to shift, it's the perils of carpeting. Okay, um, so we're just gonna do some rolls for our spine to just continue to open up 
our 360 core breath, breathing, expression, nervous system, uh, uh, ecosystem that happens in our, in our trunk and along our spine. So just go ahead and clasp your hands gently at the base of your spine. You can find that, that sacrum, if you will. Um, and if you're, if you're on the more flexible side, go ahead and straighten those arms. If not, just keep them here. You can either hold a, um, you can hold your fingers, you can hold a rag or a towel if you need a little more, um, a little more space, if your, your shoulders are really tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this version. And we're gonna soften our knees and we're gonna think of reaching our chest up, folding at the waist as much as we can until we get to the bottom and then rolling up and repeat. Arch up, fold over, curl to rise. One more of those, arch up, fold all the way down, curl to rise. Switch the clasp of your hands with the other, the other thumb on top. There we go. I think, which one did I have on top? You sometimes forget. Good, and really other directions. So I think of uh, curling down and arching up. Curling down and arching up. Curling down and arching up. If your arms there doesn't work for you at all, you can also just do this with your hands on your hips, just to keep them out of the way. Yeah, both directions. Good, all right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go side to side. So we're gonna do um, four on each side. Um, so two, two arching down, two curling down, two arching down, two curling down. Um, and we're gonna have our hands on our hips for this one because it's a little, just a little easier. All right, so let's go to uh, my right, probably your left, because you're mirroring me. Okay, so we're gonna arch and come down, curl up, arch, fold down, curl up, reverse that, curl down, arch up, curl down, arch up. Other side, arch down, curl up, arch down, curl up, curl down, arch up, curl down, arch up. Good, all right. I like those ones too because um, the side to side ones especially kind of get into your obliques. Kind of, um, anytime we twist, we are unlocking the very complex uh, muscles of the spine. Um, and we're also opening those intercostals, all kinds of good stuff. All right, I'm gonna get a quick drink of water because it's a little bit of a weirdly warm day here and my voice is a little dry. I will be very glad when the cold winter, cold winter, cold weather sets in for real. Good. Okay. What number are we on? We are number five. Um, we are going to do some, what, what, uh, Patsy Roddenberg, Roddenberg, Patsy Roddenberg calls recoveries. Um, so basically we are going to expend as much breath as we can before we get to the panic place of, oh gosh, I'm running out of breath. We're going to release, take in a new breath and begin again. So this is really good for, um, like we worked on uh, in previous weeks, uh, building up breath support and capacity, but it's also just a good way of warming up that um, controlled exhale that is really useful in speech and in singing, um, rather than the reactive exhale that just happens when we're going about our everyday life and sleeping and walking around and don't, aren't really thinking about the exhale. So um, we are going to do seven of these on a Z sound. Zzz. You're just gonna hold that note uh, until you need to take a new breath. Again, not you're gonna take a new breath before you get to that zzz place. Um, I will. I like to change pitches on each one just to play around, have a little variety. But you can feel free to just keep it on whatever neutral pitch works for you. Um, I will go for as long as my breath capacity allows. You go for as long as your breath capacity allows, whether that's shorter or longer. You do you. Okay, without further ado, um, I also may move around my space. I like to just keep my body moving as I'm doing this, but you can also just stand and do this as long as you are um, staying loose. Good, all right, here we go.
good. All right. Hopefully that was informative. So this is just a good place to check in uh, how free your breathing is that day. My breath is not feeling super free today. And that was, I was very evident as I was trying to take free uh, inhales. I could feel myself doing some of those. So your voice is changing every day and you can't expect it to be perfect 100% of the time. You have to, you have to start where you're at that day um, and work from there. Good, okay, um, let's warm up our faces a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna, let's do some real gentle tapping. So let's just take our fingertips like little raindrops and just work forehead to chin. Ah, so nice, so nice. Good. Maybe take those uh, fists together, thumbs next to each other, and just gently tap that jaw. Your jaw is just letting gravity do some work. Oh, so nice, so nice. Good. All right. Just gently chew a little bit. You know, think of uh, the food, that one person that you know who always chews their food with their lips apart. Just be that person for a minute. Maybe really knowing that there's something free and not having to close your lips all the time. So just be a little, be a little tacky and just chew and smack your food. Mwah, mwah, I'm good. You're really just that yeah, face working. Ah, and now I'm a little bit bigger. Mm, as if you're a, one of those snakes unhinging their jaw to take in that, that rat or whatever it is they're eating. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, really feel the jaw. Good. All right, maybe, maybe give that jaw a little bit of love. Just take your thumbs to just almost said just on stage of your uh, of your jaw hinge as if this is off stage and this is on stage. I don't know, folks. This is where I am today. Good. All right. Just massage that jaw hinge, not on the actual hinge itself, just in front of it, getting into the edge of that masseter muscle. Ooh, so nice. Good. All right. Yeah. Let that go. Maybe. Maybe give yourself a little forehead massage. Good. And find those cheeks. Pinch them off. Woohoo. So good. <laughs> Didn't know Homestar Runner was going to come to this, did you? Good. All right. Pinch that jaw. Pinch those lips. <laughs> Looney Tunes shake out. <laughs> good. Woohoo. Hair is flying free. Good. Okay. That was six. Number seven. I'm not going to do this one. I'm going to ask you to pause the video, do this and come back. I want you to go find your favorite song, uh, something that's got a really catchy melody or uh, a chorus that just gets stuck in your head. And I want you to go put on your Spotify, put on your YouTube, whatever you, or your whatever music playing device you have, crank it up and I want you to hum to it. Now don't try to push volume, just follow the melody and um, let, let it take you up and down in your range. So go do that, go hum to your favorite song um, and come back. Great, I'm assuming at this point that you have either willfully ignored my commands to go hum to a song or you've faithfully done it and are now returning to me. Well done if you are the latter, if you're the former. That was the weirdest tsk tsk tsk. I don't know, weird day today. Okay, great. Um, so now we are going to hum into our resonator. So we'll work top to bottom. Um, so let's just find ourselves in that nose place. So I like to close one nostril, do one, do one sinus side at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and close enough nostril, breathe in through my nose, and then find some little, some little hummy circles to really uh, feel which pitches are gonna activate those. Uh, I think these are maxillofacial and then I can't remember what this one is. Anyway, these sinuses, okay? My tongue and my jaw um, are really, really relaxed here. My lips are just closed. Um, the back of my tongue is closing off my mouth. So the air is really getting pushed into my sinuses, but really it's just a gentle closure. So don't tighten your mouth and send the air. Noodling around in there. All right, other side. Good. All right. 
both at once. Good. All right, find that hum, close your lips. Mmm, tongue is relaxed. Find that hum right in your mouth. Mmm, mmm, you can put your fingers on your lips. Mmm, 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 whatever pitch really activates that mouth. Mmm, 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 We're thinking of sending the energy in the air. Mmm, right, right into uh, that, that forward part of the mouth behind the lips. Mmm, 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 mmm. And let's let this go into a ma. So let's do, sorry, actually a me, me, ma, mo, mu. Me, me, ma, mo, mu. Good. All right. Ha, 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 ha. Let's find a little bit of that. Meow. I don't want to. So our vocal cords are thickening a little bit, but we're not clenching. We're just finding. Oh, that's really gross. Your worst impression of a bratty person. Oh, really whiny person. Something that's really using the nasal resonators. Ew, and finding activation in the throat without tightening. Ew, I don't like it. Mom, he took my peanut butter. High quality improv for you right now. Good. All right, let's bring it into the chest. Hmm, ha, ha, ha. Hmm, go ahead and put your hands just on your collarbone. Hmm, 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 and hum, hum into your hands. Just use your imagination to think of warming your heart space. Ha, 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 with your breath. You can either go, hmm, 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 with closed lips or ha, 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 with an open mouth. Ha uh, uh, uh. let's find that me me mamo here. Me me mamo mu here as well. Me me ma mo mu. Me me ma mo mu. Me me ma mo mu. Let's bring our imagination further into it. I want you to picture somebody that you love, whether that's a, a spouse. A romantic partner, your best friend, your dog, a parent, um, someone who's not with us. Just bring that person to mind. And I want you to feed breath down into your down into your core. And I just want you to imaginatively look at that person as if they're across the room. And say, I love you. And say it from this place. I love you. One more. I love you. Mm. Okay. We don't always speak love from right here, but because it's where our heart is, we're close to our solar plexus. Um, it's, it's sometimes helpful. It's not sometimes. It's always helpful to bring truth into vocal practice um, and to practice imaginatively pairing, um, imaginatively sending a thought, a feeling, and an action across space while we're activating our voice so that this just doesn't become arbitrary sounding, but that there's always a, a direction to it. Good. All right. Let's bring it down into ho, ho, ho. your jolly belly. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I don't know why. I can only do this sound when I'm down here. Ho, ho, ho. Hoo, 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 hoo. He, 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 he. Good. I'm also bending my knees a little bit. I'm uh, letting my butt be nice and loose. Ho, ho, ho. All the belly muscles just Nice and floppy. Ho, 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 ho. Hey, 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 hey. Again, thinking of sending. Because lower notes uh, have a lower frequency, they don't travel quite as well. So we want to make sure that we're practicing. Hey, hey, hey. Sending that sound even when it's low. This stuff travels real easily because the sound waves go through the space. But this, they go moo. So we want to give them a little imaginative support. Ha ha ha. Good. All right. Let that go. Let that go. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good. Okay. Um, now it's time to get into our articulators. What number? Number nine. Number nine. I lose track of numbers sometimes when I'm, you know, teaching. Okay. Great. Uh, articulators. So we're just going to uh, focus on a few of them for, for um, uh, a quick little warm up and then we're going to work with text. I always prefer warming up um, 
with tongue twisters or with a with a piece of text, either one I'm working on um, or just another one that's got great sound combinations. Because for me, it feels a little more uh, targeted and a little more practical if I'm actually practicing sound combinations that you find um, in real life, if as you will. So let's just do some of our plosives. So let's do T and D. T, D. So we're just going to alternate. T, D. T, D. T, D. And see if you can find T, D. A light action but a strong buildup that really sends that sound across the room. T, d, t, d. And I'm finding t, d, that the buildup starts here, t, t, and not in my mouth and not my throat. T, d, t, d. Let's speed that up into speed that up into ta da 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 other direction da 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 Good. Let's do P and B. P, B, P, B, P, B, P, P. Ooh. P, B, P, B, P, 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 B. I did two Ps there. All right, let's speed it up. P, B, P, B, P, B. P, B, 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 P, B. Other way. B, P. B, P, 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 B, P. There's also just a really good warm up of lips and jaw. All right, K and G. Uh, I like this one too because this is a stretch for the soft palate and the back of the tongue. So ta da 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 is good for your gets your your tongue moving, pubba bubba uh, gets the lips moving, and then kaga gets the um, the soft palate and the back of the tongue working. So if you are short on time and only going to work through some of your consonants, um, these are really great ones to to hit. All right, k ga k ga, and think of especially for this one that inner smile and the drop of the jaw. So we're not folding our teeth closed, but we're finding a little space. And from the space comes the sound. And you see my jaw isn't doing a whole lot of work. Let's do ga ka. Ga ka ga ka ga ka ga ka. Alright, kaga kaga kaga. Kaga 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 kaga. And think of lifting that soft palate even as it's working. Ga ka. Ga ka ga ka 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 Good. All right, quick drink of water. Whenever we do a lot of mouth breathing, <laughs> that sounds so derogatory. Um, mouth breathing, um, our, 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 the mucus in our mouth and in our vocal cords dries out faster uh, because what, the, what nasal breathing does is it cleans, it warms, and it moisturizes the air as it comes in. So um, if, you are, you're, if your voice is drying out really quickly, um, just check and see how often you're mouth breathing versus nose breathing, and that's a good little check in. Okay, um, we're going to finish up our articulation portion uh, with a little bit of text because, like I said, I love to um, use actual text. So this is from the prologue uh, at the beginning of Act 4 for Henry V. And I love this whole speech not only because it's just beautifully written, but because its sound combinations kind of have everything that you will need to warm up your voice. So I will speak a line to you, leave a pause for you to repeat it, and we'll uh, work through just this section of it. And we're doing the whole thing, it's just a section. Okay. Now, and we're, sorry, <laughs> before we begin, I'm gonna over-exaggerate the, um, the consonants uh, just to really make sure um, our, our mouth has all the space it needs to. Just like when you're about to dance, you wanna be able to have flexibility beyond what you're actually gonna use in that piece so that you can prevent injury. Um, with articulation, you wanna be able to have the agility and the stretch beyond what you'll actually be using um, so that you you are good to go. Okay, no false beginnings. Here we go. Now entertain conjecture of a time when creeping murmur and the pouring dark fills the wide vessel of the universe. From camp to camp, through the foul womb of night, the hum of either army stilly sounds. That the fixed sentinels almost receive the secret whispers of each other's watch. 
fire answers fire and through their paley flames each battle sees the other's umbered face Steed threatens steed in high and boastful nays. Piercing the night's dull ear and from their tents. The armorers accomplishing the nights. With busy hammers closing rivets up. Give dreadful note of preparation. The country cocks do crow, the clocks do toll. And the third hour of drowsy morning name. Good. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I I love that speech. The, the country cocks do, clo do crow. I can't even see it there. The country cocks do crow, the clocks do toll. That alone is a, is a tongue twister. Great, okay. Um, three more parts. Number 10. Um, this is uh, something for you, again, to pause and work on because I don't know what text you're working on because I don't even know who's watching this, so. <laughs> um, but take whatever text it is you're working on, whether that's a song, a speech, a monologue, and I want you to intone it. Um, so if you're using this, this text, now entertain conjecture of a time when creeping murmur and the pouring dark fills the white vessel of the universe. So you're keeping on one note, you're kind of um, equating the stress across all the syllables, and you're thinking of sending it up and out from those feet that we warmed up and rolled out from the ground up and out of yourself, that forward placement. So intone the text. Um, it's a good way to break any, any intonation patterns, any thought patterns that you may be getting stuck in, um, and just reacquaint yourself with um, the flow of the language. So pause the video, intone your text, and then speak your text without thinking too much about it, and then come back. Great. I'm assuming again, once again, that you've either done that and come back or you willfully flouted my instructions. Um, either case, welcome back. Um, that was actually steps 10 and 11. So 10 is intoning the text, 11 is speaking the text, and 12 is returning to where we began, which is our centering and our uh, releasing. Um, so let's go ahead and just quickly just shake out. Shake it all out. Shake it all out. If you're like me, you can get a little intense and you uh, get really focused. Like, I'm doing my voice work now. I'm doing my text work. Um, and it's just good to not take yourself so seriously. So just shake it out. Shake it out. Floppy flop. Good. All right. Find those feet back underneath your center. Knees soft. Head floating right on top of your spine. Eyes on the horizon. Rotate those palms out. And let's close our eyes and take those three breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Releasing the work, letting the work kind of integrate like nutrients into our bodies and um, committing to show up fully in our cells, in our voices for whatever we're off to next. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. One more, really slow this down. Let's breathe in for a count of eight and out for a count of eight. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, all right, bat those eyes open. And there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the warm up. Again, this is something that you can just you know, whip out really quickly. You can even move through it more, more quickly than we did today. Um, but if you liked it, let me know. Uh, if there's things that you want to work out in future weeks, also let me know. And I hope to see you next time.